Hi everyone, welcome to my very first clean with me. Let's just get right into it. I always start out my day by loading a load of laundry. Um, I do one load per day and then I always empty my dishwasher first thing so that way I have a dishwasher that's empty and ready to go after every single meal. Now I know my kitchen does not look like everyone else's on YouTube and it's not all white, it's not new. I rent this townhouse and it is a very old kitchen. When I got it, they updated the appliances, but obviously they didn't upgrade the countertops, the stove range, the cabinets, the overhead lights, like it's still pretty old. Um, hopefully for the next owners, well for the next tenant's sake, they upgrade the whole kitchen. I like to try to keep my counters as clutter free as possible. so. I'm drying out the pans and putting them away right away and then getting rid of all the bottles and putting them into the cabinet. Now I usually give myself one hour every single day to clean my house, but this was Saturday and every Saturday I've been focusing on spring cleaning and really deep cleaning one specific thing. So last week I did my refrigerator um, and I actually did my vertical blinds. I soaked them. I don't know if you follow me on Snapchat, but that was a Pinterest sale. Um, today I'm focusing on my stove that up the portion up top I forget what it's called um, and the grates um, normally I do try to clean with like all natural products I'm using mrs. Myers vinegar baking soda I do have ammonia on the counter and that's because I clean my grates with them I found it on Pinterest now my grates really really need to be clean so that's why I use the ammonia because it broke down all the pot well all the gunk that was on there I don't really know how I feel about it. I didn't really do it right. They want you to put each grate in a Ziploc bag and then put the ammonia in each one, a quarter cup. Um, I ended up using trash bags and I put two in each one. And yeah, it was kind of a fail because the trash bags ended up opening up when I put them against the sidewalk outside. And then eventually I realized all everything leaked out. So for my stove, I used a mixture of products because I didn't have any Brillo pads. So I used some baking soda, I took off all the burners and I let them soak in the sink. And then I sprayed some vinegar and dish soap, that's usually what I keep in the spray bottle, that's from Dollar Tree. And then it creates like, it makes it abrasive I guess you could say. And I just used a toothbrush and this other type of brush to really get the black off. This took a really long time and I did have to let it soak. And I this stove was seriously a pain in the ass. I probably did this like five times back and forth, back and forth. I used several different products. I just need to get some Brillo pads. Brillo pads always do the trick. Using really hot water and dish soap, I used the Method dish soap. It actually worked really, really well. I just took a toothbrush and I really went into like those fine crevices in the dishwasher, the microwave, coffee pot, the stove. I use this for so many different things. Um, it works really, really well. Now, I know I'm kind of working in opposite directions, but it was just one of those things. One thing led to the next. I was focusing on the stove and I'm like, oh, I need to clean the wall too. So I just used the Mrs. Myers all-purpose cleaner spray down the wall. Now this all-purpose cleaner is actually a really, really good all-purpose cleaner for it being a natural product. I know sometimes people are a little bit iffy about um, all natural products because they feel like they don't clean the same, but this actually cleans really, really good. It does a really good job cutting down on the grease. I believe Grove Collaborative still does have the offer to where you can get a free Mrs. Meyer set. Uh, just click the link in the bio and you will be able to get that offer. It's like a free $25 free Mrs. Meyer set. So, And you can pick your scent. I have the scent Geranium. It's very floral. Um, there are different scents if you want to choose something different. Now it was definitely time to clean this stove overhead. I just used the really hot water with soap and some baking soda and I did have to do this a few times but I feel like it worked really well. Um, and then I used the Mrs. Myers all purpose cleaner to finish it off and wipe everything down. I also did the inside of it to really clean like all the crevices. I also cleaned like the this little plastic thing that was covering the light bulb, the filter, I didn't even know that you could take that thing off. Um, I need a new one, but for the time being, I just soaked it in 
hot soap and water i found it on pinterest like anytime like i'm not really sure of how to clean something like pinterest always for the most part comes through there was a few fails but yeah that thing was so dirty Again, I'm at it with this damn stove. Now, I stopped doing the kitchen for a second and I took the clothes out of the washer and put them in the dryer. I like doing this while I'm cleaning so that way it's done by the time I'm done cleaning and then I'm done with my chores for the day. So going back to the kitchen, I'm just spraying the counter that I'm not using um, So because obviously I was using all the counter space around the stove. So just wiped down my microwave with the Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaner. I'm getting the back, getting the wall, getting my coffee pot, spraying down the dishwasher because things always drip on the dishwasher and it's white so it's very obvious when it does. This Mrs. Meyer spray smells so good. This is the geranium. I do want to try out different scents because this is very floral. I do like it, but <clears throat> floral isn't my favorite. So I'm going to try some different scents next time. Again, to really get in those fine crevices, those little cracks, I just used warm soap and water to get in there and I wiped down the counters again with the Mrs. Myers cleaner and this is a microfiber towel from Dollar Tree. Now moving on to the living room, I ended up vacuuming the inside. This is a shark vacuum. I don't know why I still have the tag on it, but I just picked up like the bigger pieces. All the parts of my vacuum are like MIA around my house because Nathan likes to take them and try to play with them. So I ended up having to sweep whatever I couldn't get out and I just swept it up later. Then I just put my pillows on here. These are from TJ Maxx. I need new ones. I need a whole new couch and sofa. My kids have totally destroyed them. So then I'm just moving on to the next one. And then I have to do this several times a week, but I swept out everything that was underneath the couch because there's so many cars and toys, water bottles, like there's so much stuff that ends up underneath these couches. So I swept underneath them and then I started working on um, dusting everything down. Right here, I'm just picking up all of Nathan's toys that are throughout the house. Um, at any point I start cleaning up his stuff, it's like, I swear he goes behind me and starts throwing everything. So I'm just going underneath of everything, picking up all the cars, all the balls. 
everything um yeah and then i'm just using the dr myers glass cleaner to wipe down my windows with the glass cleaner i feel like you need a lot to really get the job done and i'm not a big fan of this smell i believe this is a lavender scent so next time i'm definitely getting another one because i really don't like the scent of this one because to me it doesn't smell like lavender um right here i'm just wiping down everything that's on my corner table there's like a flower thing there's a buddha head and an elephant Then again, I'm just using the Mrs. Myers all-purpose cleaner to wipe down my little bar area. Um, I got this from Target a few years ago. The lamp is from Target. All of my bar stuff is from Ikea. Now I already cleaned my whole bathroom the other day so I'm just wiping down the glass again. I like to keep this clean and I wanted to wash the thing that's hanging up the towel so I just took that out and wiped everything down to freshen it up a little bit. I'm now focusing on the table. Nathan like ruins this every single day so again the all, my, the all purpose cleaner I'm just wiping down that and the height chair. Using the Mrs. Myers glass cleaner, I just wiped down my whole back window because Nathan gets his fingerprints all over it, especially with food since he eats right next to it. And then by this point, I realized like all the ammonia had leaked out of the bag. So I ended up soaking them in the sink with some warm water and dish soap, well, hot water and dish soap. So I let them soak for a few hours and then it was time to start folding my laundry. Um, I got Nathan's bag ready for daycare for Monday just put his sheets and blanket in there and usually with when it comes to laundry I try to do one person's load well one person's load each day so that way I don't know I just feel like doing multiple people's laundry like when you mix everything together it just makes it so difficult to fold with doing one person's I know where everything goes and I can just put everything away the only ones that I mix is Nathan's like I'll mix Nathan's clothes with mine and then I do have a load of towels here because I had to do like an emergency load the night before because I had no towels. Sorry, I didn't notice I was out of focus until later, but I'm just cleaning my floors with the Swiffer multi-surface cleaner. Just got this from Walmart. It's just very simple to clean your wood floors with. Um, but with my tile floor in the kitchen, I ended up using some Fabuloso and hot water. So yeah, that is it for my clean with me. If you guys like clean with me, then give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next one.